Okay, today we're going to jump into Taj Farah covering the great Gary Moore. That's right, the song is Parisian Walkways. Let's get to it. Hey, what's good, YouTube? All right, Mike here. This is Pro Guitarist Reacts. And uh, yes, so I'm sure most of you, if you're watching right now, know that uh, Gary Moore is one of the greats. Uh, rest in peace. Um, I'm familiar somewhat with his catalog a little bit. Uh, enough to recognize, like I, if I heard him playing on a track, I would, I would know it was him. I could, I could kind of hear his tone and his sound and stuff. Uh, often play with the Les Paul, but and uh, big beautiful vibrato bluesy sound uh when i think about him i think about him like a lot of minor minor sounding chord progressions uh yeah and a lot of vibrato um i don't know a whole bunch of his songs by name other than uh still got the blues so i can't place parisian walkways off the top of my head but uh it's very likely that i've heard it before about to find out um so yeah and i have checked out Taj Farah before he is a, a young prodigy from australia blues guitar player i saw him playing with um rob thomas he was doing the santana guitar parts in uh, smooth did a phenomenal job uh, check that video out. I'll probably tag that at the end. You'll hear the story about uh, how I used to be friends with Rob Thomas and we used to tour together in my band in, in Matchbox 20. And uh, yeah, there were some good times back then. But today is a different day. We are going to check out Taj Farah. I don't know how old he is in this one. Maybe uh, teens? 14 maybe I haven't seen his face yet but when we get to it let the music do the talking <laughs>
that neck pickup sound. That vibrato. It's killer. Classical, maybe? Right there, yeah. Let's check that out one more time. Back to the bridge pickup. Right here. What's he saying? pivot note uh, ideas that was so popular in the neoclassical era. Not that it's uh, isolated to the neoclassical guitar player. Sorry, the reason I keep looking the wrong way is uh, my TV screen. I have a big screen on this side and a smaller screen in front of me. And, uh, usually I'm placed differently. So I'm trying not to look at the big screen so that it doesn't look weird in the video, but uh, the big screen is so much uh, easier to look at. Yeah, there's some uh, pretty fast picking. Fast playing.
Man, this uh, this little bit here, when he's getting real cooking, reminded me a little bit of Jeff Healy. Jeff Healy was a uh, blind uh, Canadian blues guitar player who could really let loose, uh, you know, when he hit the, the high point of the guitar solo. This is incredible, yeah. He's This guy's uh, incorporating lots of other techniques uh, that are not normally used in the blues, like uh, like that uh, pivot note idea. I'm not used to hearing that as a blues song. Well, to be fair, this isn't really like a typical blues song. It's just a song in a minor key that uh, happens to have been written by or made famous by a legendary blues guitar player. Still a modern blues guitar player by any definition. All right, let's finish this out. Let's see, does he get any wilder or what? I mean, he's got to be at the limit. Typical blues. opening up here. There's that, you know. What are you going to do? Yeah, he could play. God damn, I wonder how old he is. I, I really couldn't get a uh, a good look at uh, at his face en enough to determine an age. Uh, I imagine he was pretty young in that clip still. Um... Wow. Yeah, his improvising is uh, where he really shines. Uh, I guess, yeah, at the beginning when he was just kind of playing the melody, uh, you know, it wasn't that exciting, to be honest. And uh, boy, did that ever change. His uh, vibrato, ooh, so wide and so... So like uh, super fast and a little. I liked it when he got going super fast and like had like almost a sloppiness to his to his picking. Okay, folks, if you made it all the way to the end, throw a yo down in the comment. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Hit like and subscribe if you dig the vibe. And uh, not much else to say except. Uh, that was awesome. Peace out. Dust is 